Wow! Hello and uh, welcome to um, what's in the box. Today we're looking at the um, Sylvester German light armoured car. Um, or the SDK of Z222. So, uh, as ever, it's a snap together kit. Um, I will try to uh, get this done in one go, but I uh, suspect um, it might be quite complicated to do in one go um, because I do know what the sprues look like. So, let's get this one open. And uh, out of the box. Okay, so here we go. As ever with the Zvezda stuff, you get the two cards for um, Art of Tactic. Um, instructions, which we will have to follow quite closely with this kit, and two sprues. So, sprue one, and sprue two. Right, so the first thing we need to do is build the um, lower part of the chassis. And I do advise following the instructions on this item by item because it is a bit fiddly. So, so there's the. Uh, so I do love this, the fact that it's got all that underneath, which you'll never see. This hole here, by the way, is for the flag for Art of Tactic. Um, that's that bit, and we need the headlamps, which are there. That's the headlights. Now, as usual, there is very little um, stuff on this. Excuse the noise from outside, it's school holidays. The kids are jumping all over the place. After their ball, probably. Um, so anyway, let's bang the headlights in. Obviously making sure that the headlamps are at the front. That fits into this tiny, tiny little hole here. Oops, it's very difficult doing this. So I'm actually looking through the camera while I do it. So they snap in there, so part one. Obviously, I'm going to take this apart when I finished it and do it a bit better and glue it together for painting. Okay, so we have that piece done. We now need to take off the main, or well, the lower part of the, the vehicle. Now, there are <coughs> four sort of like, um, I don't know what they're called, like sills or whatever for the wheels hubs for the wheels so we'll just whip them off now it's best to put these on first before you do anything else just bear in mind it's that way up by the way so I'll take them off now quickly okay so these are the rear ones and uh, that is the rear okay This is exceptionally fiddly to do. Okay. Oh. There's one. And two. Okay. That's the rear done. Obviously, it take a bit more time about it than I'm doing here. 
Um, and then we need the front ones. With Okay, so that's the rear done. Then you get your um, axle drive shaft or whatever it's called. And this sort of pops in. Like so. Okay. And that then sort of like holds it all together. Okay, next. We'll move on to building the uh, main body of the vehicle. Okay, so for that bit we need it's best to put the sides on first. I don't know why it joins like that, but just be aware of this this bit here. Oops. It's a bit fiddly to get out of the spur. Okay, so very very straightforward this he says. This fits on to this sort of like pin here. Oops, this pin here. Bear with me one second. Sorry, I had to have a bit of a... It is very, very fiddly at times doing these things. So, oops. It snaps in. There. For some reason, this one isn't going together very well. And... There. There are two points. There's one point there, one point there, and they have to snap in. So then that fits on, so... And then this one, obviously, just snaps on the other side, like so. Okay. It's starting to look like what it is. So that's that bit done. And then we'll put the top on. It's probably the easiest bit of all. <laughs> just... Uh, Oops, he says. I should never say anything's easy. Because it never is. You just line up the holes. Like so. And as if by magic, it all pops in. There you go. Once you're in this shape, you can just manipulate it slightly. And it all fits together. There we are. Okay. Um the next part, very straightforward, is the turret. Now the turret comes in two bits. Um, there's a lower bit of the turret, which is there. And the guns, which I can't find for now. There they are. <coughs> the gun bit. Very careful, these very, very fiddly, very, very thin. But the plastic is quite hard, so you're all right to a certain degree of roughness. Um, and this simply just snaps on the top. And I won't put it in now, but it just pops in there. Next, we just get the wheels. I am very, very impressed with the Zvezda kits for the money. I mean they are brilliant. Uh, the quality of the machine on them is phenomenal and the fact that they do just snap together. I'll just pop this wheel on here and this wheel on here. Not that um, I would actually leave them unglued but you can quite feasibly just 
<laughs> snap them together. Okay, so there's its wheels on. A couple of more little um, bits now. The um, spare wheel, which is here. This is angled because the um, side is angled there, so it actually goes in square. There you go, so there's a spare wheel. There's two little doors, one here. So, as I say, as you can see, the actual pin is angled. I don't know whether you can see that very clearly. It is angled so for the angle of the um, side of the vehicle. And I'm trying to keep it in frame and see myself, and it is quite fiddly with my fat fingers. Bear with me. I mean, obviously, if you're gluing it together, you don't have to worry about all this because you can just cut the pin off the length of pin. So it snaps in. So, one more. And on with the turret, and there you go. Obviously, when you actually put the kit together properly, I would uh, advise gluing it. And you can take a bit more time over it, but that is not a bad little piece of plastic. Yeah. For less than the price of a coffee at Costa, you can have a light armoured car. Okay, and after a bit of paint, there we are. And for two pounds ninety nine, I personally think that's a very, very nice model. You guys see that? There we are. Very nice. Okay, so that's the it's first uh, light armoured car. Just joined my Africa Corps. Thanks for watching. <laughs>